Meantime, over at the state capitol, a controversial election bill that critics say promoted voter suppression failed in the state Senate. Javi standing by now with a closer look at the proposal, which would have made the so-called permanent early voting list a lot less permanent, Hav. Good morning, guys. Uh, so there are also some claims of racism in there as well. That's been the argument surrounding this bill and several other election related bills in Arizona with similar bills being introduced in other states. Some claim these bills are meant to address the results of 2020 election and not any actual fraud that, as you know, has been debunked time and time again. So here's what's interesting. Republican Senator Kelly Townsend joined all Democrats in opposing the bill. But her argument is the bill doesn't go far enough. The proposal would have removed people from the permanent early voting list if they didn't cast a ballot for two consecutive election cycles. Democrats claim the measure would have disproportionately hurt independent voters, the poor and voters of color. But during a debate, a controversial comment in the House this week was made and it's now trending on social media. Take a listen. Bill personally that motives were arraigned of members, including myself, with regards to colored people, black people, whatever people this individual wants to single out in their ability to vote. That's Gilbert lawmaker Travis Grantham using the term colored people during a hearing about the bill. Grantham was objecting to uh, what he argued was a personal attack after Democratic lawmakers made impassioned claims about the bill being racist. A clip including that remark has now been viewed more than a million times. Now for context, here's some of that debate that led up to his remark. So let's call it for what it is. This is an effort to make it harder for people of color to vote. The effect of this bill will make it harder for independent voters, seniors, Native Americans, black, brown, and low-income people to vote. Republicans argue the bills are necessary to prevent potential voter fraud and ensure the integrity of our election. Now back to that remark in a statement this morning. A spokesperson says the social media post regarding Representative Grantham quote amount to a smear, adding the shameful misuse and misinformation being propagated has created an environment that has caused Mr. Grantham and his family to receive credible death threats. It also says DPS is now investigating. Well, the whole statement will be on our website and it all goes on to read that he and Representative Bolding are actually friends and Grantham might pursue legal action against any entities out there that spread false information.